Greetings. Welcome to Queen L LLC. This is Queen L. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today's video is very, very exciting. Pluto is entering into the age of Aquarius for the next 20 plus years. Why is this major? Stick around and find out. Okay, so Pluto has been in the um, zodiac sign of Capricorn since 2008. First, what is Pluto? Now, I'm going to link my um, planet energy video, my part three video, which talks about um, the energy that one can expect from Pluto. But to put it really plainly, um, Pluto, with it having such a slow orbit around the sun, it is the last of, um, well, in recent years, I say recent years, but probably about the past like 20 plus years, um, Pluto has been um, downgraded from uh, one of the major nine planets to um, a dwarf or a minor planet. And the reason is because of the size. There was, there were just some um, changes to what, um, in the realm of astrology, what has been classified as a planet, the size of the planet, the length of its orbit around the sun. So um, it was decided that Pluto would be considered a minor or dwarf planet and not a um, traditional planet, um, so to speak, like the rest of the larger planets in our solar system. Regardless, it's a planetary body. Now, um, like I said, Pluto was in Capricorn. Um, it entered Capricorn in 2008. And Pluto energy is um, generational because of how long its orbit is. It is transformational. Pluto is all about rebirth, regeneration. So whenever Pluto shifts from one sign to the next, it's a major shift. Pluto's orbit around the sun takes um, approximately 248 years to get around the sun. So to put it into perspective, Earth has a 365 day orbit, which is why um, that is the length of time in the majority of years. That's the length of time of our calendar year. So um, Pluto's calendar year, so to speak, is 248 years long in relation to time that we capture for um, our year. So, um, Anyway, Pluto entered Capricorn in 2008, and there was that major shift financially with um, our stock market in the United States. Um, there was a lot of devastating loss to the banking industry, to the housing industry. Um, there was just a lot of um, turmoil with regard to um, just all of our financial systems. And then after the, the breakdown things had to be rebuilt, which has occurred over the past 15 plus years. Now, Pluto um, enters into the age of Aquarius starting March 20, let me check, March 23rd, and um, this goes on until 2044. So what does that look like? The last time Pluto was in Aquarius was from 1778 to 1798. Literally, it's been that long since Pluto has been in Aquarius. That was considered the age of revolution. Okay. Now, Pluto spends over 10 years in each zodiac sign. And like I said, it's a transformative period. So Pluto in Aquarius is progressive energy. It's all about um, being the change. It's all about the resistance, being a part of the resistance. Now, um, there are things to do to um, really embrace this energy. So let's dive into that. Now, be ready to embrace change. If you're someone, I would say, anyone who has a um, cardinal or fixed sign as their um, sun sign, then I would say, and that's gonna be a future video. So what does it mean to be a cardinal, fixed, or mutable zodiac sign? Um, just very briefly, so I will have a video um, explaining this a bit more in depth um, at a later time. But in a nutshell, every season, so spring, summer, fall, winter, 
every season the three zodiac signs within that season um the first sign is considered the cardinal sign so those are the um groundbreaking zodiac sign members those are the ones who are usually the leaders the visionaries um the trendsetters now they are um much less resistant to change than um, let's say the fixed zodiac signs because they usually can see the vision um, but they are somewhat a bit resistant to change because they are um, set in their own ideals so they're not as free-flowing as the mutable signs now the fixed zodiac signs those are the ones who are the most resistant to change so um, the fixed signs and we can discuss this at a later date um, feel free to ask me um, below or you can look it up the fixed zodiac signs are the ones in the middle of each season and those signs are very set in their ways um, kind of stuck in their own mindset and very less resistant to change so they may have the greatest um, challenge with regard to this Pluto transit into the age of Aquarius just being so resistant to change and then the mutable signs are the last zodiac sign of every season so those signs are the ones that are kind of more free-flowing and um, just go with you know whatever happens and um, just taking it a bit easier not so much with a grain of salt but um, just more free-flowing so um, that will help you with um, just knowing what to expect just to be better prepared but we all have the ability to see things as they are and to embrace the change so it's all about um, just setting your mind to it now Pluto entering into Aquarius so Aquarius is an air sign and I will say that the air signs will um, feel this shift the strongest but um, it's all about making the most of it. So I would say to look at your chart and see where Aquarius is in your chart to um, help you to see what area in your life, specifically the house that Aquarius is in, to see what um, area of your life you will um, notice that transformation, okay? So some more things, let me pull up more notes. Um, just know that Things, you know, may kind of some walls, some structures, some systems may um, tear down, fall apart in your life to be rebuilt. So um, that's just a part of the change. So it's all about embracing it, like I said. Also check and see where Pluto is in your chart. Um, Pluto is in everyone's chart somewhere. So you look to see where Pluto is, look to see where Aquarius is. Um, you will see the greatest change in your life in those areas. Now, um... You can pull your full chart at astro.com and there are other ways as well and they're free. Um, there are free zodiac sign apps like Sanctuary is one um, and you'll find out where Pluto is in your chart, where Aquarius is in your chart because there are major and minor planets and I have videos for those so I'll link those above. Um, your chart online will reveal those minor or dwarf planet placements and um, you're guaranteed to find them there if you don't see them in more of the obvious planets. Um, let's see. Also, um, just note that um, it's all good. So this is a great thing. Change can be, you know, hard for some people. Some people hear the word change and are instantly resistant. Like, hold up now. What now? But I'm here to tell you change is a great thing. This is a time to elevate. You'll see change in technology, change in um, the structures that are already taking place from a political standpoint. Um, so this will be some global changes that we will see um, on a greater scale. So it's like a, a macro and a micro level. So you'll see um, definitely within yourself, you'll see plenty of change. And then you'll also see it um, in the ways that you interact with the world and also just your observation of, you know, this planet that we're living on right now, right? So um, 
that is the message that I have with regard to this Pluto and Aquarius energy. That is my take on what this shift from Pluto and Capricorn to Pluto and Aquarius will look like. And um, over the course of time, we will, you know, revisit this and talk about what this shift will look like. Pluto will vacillate. It will go in retrograde soon. It actually is going in retrograde um, May 1st until October 10th. So we'll talk about what that looks like when it's in retrograde and going reverse in its orbit and then when it goes back direct again. So um, there will be some shifts as we see with other plants as well. But just know that the change is upon us and it's really whether we're ready for it or not, it's here. And it is a good thing. Plenty of things needed to change. I know universally we can all see it, but um, even within ourselves as well. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that my message was received well. That was my intent. I will be in touch. Peace. Ashe.